You know, with a YouTube cook channel, we're always getting new cookers or new accessories. Well, I have a need on my Weber Smoky Mountain for an accessory, and it's the called Cajun Bandit 22 and a half wheel and cylinder lock kit assembly. And I had a little problem with my, not with the cooker itself, but moving it around. Well, yeah, I got the casters on it. I got the handles to grab it with, but the way the bottom fits onto the base, as long as you're on a smooth surface, it rolls just fine. But I've got pavers and there are split, uh, cracks in the pavers. Sometimes they're a little uneven. And when that caster bumps up against one of them and me pushing it, the middle section will actually pop up out of the base. I've had it happen several times. And of course, you know, it'll probably be dark after the cook's over, but the cooker will probably still be hot a little bit. Or even the in the middle of a cook, if it starts raining and you need to, you know, move it. Uh, I've managed just fine, but there's a um, accessory out there made by Cajun Bandit that can lock that middle section down to the base. And I like that idea. I didn't have to have it but I saw where it would be useful for me moving my cooker around on the pavers because it'll bump, 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 you know, where they meet together. It's not like smooth concrete. So that's why I got it. A guy that saw me modding my cooker, I don't know, over a year ago told me about that. When he saw me put the casters on, he, he pointed out how Cajun Bandit had this particular offering anyway i've been putting it off and i finally ordered it i saw another channel that he had uh weber smoky mountain uh the woodshed smoke and barbecue greg had this same accessory on his cooker so i already had it greg i just hadn't put it on so i'm gonna put it on today first Stand thing by. you gotta do is remove the middle and top section off and of course since i modded it with some handles I don't have to take each piece off. I can just grab it right here and lift it up. All right, that exposes our base, which I've already been working on it and fooling with it for something else. I'll show you in a little bit. Um, that you replace the, what the instructions say is you take this existing bolt out and they've got a longer bolt that you put in here that allows you to connect some other brackets and so forth and then you've got a, a new uh, got a new bracket and wheel can you see that a new bracket and, and caster assembly goes on there and uh, this bracket fits on the leg and then you've got this bracket that fits on that bracket and this part clamps onto the middle section and it holds it hard against this where it can't bump off of there so that's what i'm getting ready to do you stand by Let's take some bolts loose. Got to take this top bolt loose, this leg bracket. There we go. Put put the muscle to it. Something's got to give. All right. Now. Replace that. It's a one and a half inch long quarter twenty. Goes bolt. in from the inside with a, a lock and a nut. A lock nut. It gives you a longer bolt to attach the other bracket to. And I just happen to have a deep well socket. It works just fine. All right. I'm going to do these other 
three and I'll get back with you. Slide the lock plate over the bolt and secure with the star knob. Here's the lock plate, here's the star knob. Slide it over the bolt. And that's where your middle section will go down and this will clamp down on it. And that's all you do with that. I'll get these other two put on there and come back to you. I'm gonna take a 9 16 and remove these old casters off right here. Won't take but a few minutes. And I'll get back with you after it that. It says attach all the casters to the caster mounts before attaching the mounts to the smoker legs. Can you see that? That's what it'll look like. Uh, we've got casters and we've got caster mounts. And so it's pretty simple. Here's your mount with your four holes, four holes, uh, like that. And I've got 12 of these bolts and lock nuts. Put that in there like that. Put that little nut with the lock on it like that. Could use this uh, socket and hold it with a, a large Phillips this, just hold that sucker still, and just tighten it down. Alright, I'm going to do all three casters and brackets, four bolts on each one, and I'll, I'll be uh, back. Use this little table, turn my bottom over, and just sit it on top, kind of work on that, work with that. It says on the instruction to install the first bolt through the factory hole as shown and repeat this step for all three assemblies then using the drill bit provided line up the caster mount with the smoker leg and drill through the leg the leg not your hand ha 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 we are only attaching casters here they made a funny all right here's the factory yeah, hole there's the factory hole over here and then this one it just goes on here's where we've mounted the casters on the bracket and we're just going to push that bracket down to that hole lines up everything looks pretty square copacetic now we got a little longer bolt we'll use and it's like the nuts go on the inside this time around, so I'm gonna use this nut, this bolt, lock nut. Put it on there, push it through, and put the nut on. That's seven sixteenths. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. 7 sixteenths, can't get a socket in there, so I'm going to use this wrench and a Phillips screwdriver, a large Phillips screwdriver. All right, let's tighten that little booger up like that. It ain't going nowhere. Now, what we're going to do... Turn it around. You're going to square it up good. Make sure it's good and square with this leg. You still with me? I keep forgetting about the camera and where I'm at. Alright, I got the drill ready. They sent a, a drill bit in the packet. I've already got it in here. I'm just going to line it up with this hole. There's one, we got our other bolt, we'll put the nuts to the inside, Lock it anybody down. can turn a screwdriver and hold a wrench, an open end wrench, actually a box, a uh, short socket would go in there, 
I didn't bring one with me. Okay, I'm going to do the other two, and I'll be right back. We'll be finishing this little project. All right. What I wanted to do... Can you see me? Move a little closer. Okay. Watch out. Watch out, big boy. <laughs> Can you see what I'm doing here? All right. Got the brackets. This bracket. If I'm seeing this right. First time trying it, so I don't have them. All right. There we go. I don't know about such things yet. it because this will warp that was the problem when I first got it it wouldn't sit down in the bottom section because it was out of range hmm. as long as it won't pop up out of there and I don't think it will with three of them on there like that that's what I wanted now I will say you hold on a minute y'all understood what I was telling you right <laughs> I do like the looks of those caster, that caster bracket assembly. I like the looks of that and the way that fits on there. Uh, I like the looks of that. That bracket, you know, and it's holding down this middle section so it won't jump up off of there. I mean, I've had it happen several times. When you go to move it around, say, just like right there. If I move it across that, uh, that sidewalk, the, the split in that sidewalk, that little bit of unevenness or uh, where a wheel can go down in there and you're pushing on it, it'll pop that middle section off of there. It's just not sitting down in there where it will stay put if you put a little pressure on it. And then these pavers, see the pavers? When you try to move this thing around on those pavers, you know, it's like riding down the highway with uneven joint bump ba bump ba bump well it's not that bad over here but there there's a there's a crack there the point is that thing will pop up off the middle section will pop up off the base i know some of you can give me an amen on that if you're telling the truth now some guys he's got his just fixed in a certain place he doesn't need handles he doesn't need wheels he doesn't need these things and i understand that and i appreciate that if you got a designated place for your cooker and it never moves you know you just cook on it but i move mine around i have i have reason to move it around so i like the idea of these handles to lift that middle section up off of there I, you really need handles Weber should put handles on there anyway because you got to lift that midsection up off of there and it's these 22s are pretty big and cumbersome and even not being hot uh, it can be a job just lifting it up, up out of there and if it's hot man got a job there uh, but anyway I think I'm gonna like this you see what I mean now with these uh, hold down clamps? Now, tell you what, let's just roll it across the across the sidewalk. All right, I hit it. It bounced off of it right there. It bounced over it. But see, before it would bounce up out of there, and then especially especially if you get over here. You know what I was doing before? What I was doing before is I was grabbing the leg. And so if you grab the leg and pull it up over there, it can't bounce up because you're not putting pressure on the middle section. You're actually pulling it by the leg. But now, <laughs> now I can pull it around and not have to worry about it coming apart. What was that? Oh, that was just my hook. Okay, here we go. 
There we go. I got something else I'm going to show you tomorrow I was going to do today. I'm going to show you another little package I got. Another little thing I ordered that I'm going to be using on a long cook. That's just a little hint. I'm going to show you that tomorrow. I was going to show you today, but my neighbor got out with his uh, hedge trimmer, motorized hedge clippers, and drowned me out. You probably heard it at the beginning of this one. Okay. This is Phil and Florence. Comment below. Tell me what you think. See you.